My history with gouache is not a long one. It's only within the past two years that I even heard about the medium and wanted to try it. I've experimented with it a little bit here and there on its own as well as an accent to watercolor, which is the traditional medium I've sunk the most time into learning, but nothing to the scale of what I would like to attempt this time. So hopefully things go well. Our lovely subject will be Kepler's Bahie. Fresh off the heels of Refresh, the immaculate set design of her individual shots provided a striking composition that I just had to paint. In order for the process to go as smoothly as possible, I wanted to plan the composition and colors of the piece first. Taking some screenshots of the music video, I began to narrow down which poses I thought looked the best for a piece of art. I wasn't really getting anywhere, so to lay a foundation, I wanted the background on its own. I just, uh, need to paint her out. <gasps> She's gone. There are probably many ways to do what I am trying to do, but better. But for me, brute force is the name of my game. Pose, check. I started drawing her in a kimono before I remembered I don't know how to draw a kimono. After a combination of photo layering, layer modes, deciding less rendering was better, adding textures, and plantable details, this is what I ended up with for the final reference piece. Here I'm using a sponge to stretch the paper. I put it aside to dry while I printed out the picture so I could transfer it to get the proportions right. I purposely made the canvas bigger than I could print because I have a tendency to draw very small, and it didn't matter that much if it was cropped since I plan on filling in the details by hand. I went in and freehanded the rest of the sketch. I'm starting with a base layer of watercolor to act as an underpainting.
No, gosh, oh, why? Stop, please, no. This is so horrible. Why do I suck at this? Let's try this again. That's better. I accidentally splattered red onto the white area, so I decided to turn it into spots. Immediately after doing this, I decided I hated it, so I'll have to fix that later. In the meantime, with my reference close, I put down the base layers for her facial features. Okay, time to bust out the gouache. I sort of forgot to color match the hair accurately, so there were more layers going down than would have been necessary.
Jonas, vielen Dank. Taking the masking fluid off was a lot more difficult than I had anticipated, so I had to do most of it off camera. There's something a bit off about it. It's not quite working. Comparing it to the reference, the values in the background aren't dark enough, and it's also a bit too saturated. My attempt to blend the green into the shadows of the yellow flower didn't really work, and I don't like the color. I wiped off what layers I could before adding more. One of the things that was throwing me off was the absence of shading of the white flowers, so I filled those in, and things are starting to look a little better. I go in pushing and pulling the values to help the flower section feel more cohesive, going in color by color. If a painting isn't working the way you wanted to, it's okay to take a step back and to analyze what's going on and see if the problems are fixable, and think of a game plan to execute on it. Remember to trust the process.
Desaturating and darkening the background helped a lot. It's really starting to come together. I'll have to touch up the bamboo, but I don't mind.
I didn't have any gold gouache, so I'm using acrylic paint here. some final touches here and there. The hardest thing for me was mixing, getting the right consistency, not mixing enough paint, or mixing too much. Most of my frustrations were happening on the palette, but I did get into a pretty good flow by the end. I'm not sure if it reads as Bahia super well, but I'm happy with how it turned out. I'm excited to explore the medium further and try out different techniques. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.